Oh! Ow! Ow! The cat was biting me. Okay, anyways. Ow, shit. Okay, so in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, input data, like different types of data, numbers, you know, text, dates, whatnot. And uh, we're actually going to be covering a um, shit ton in this video, so it might be a long one. Uh, I'll try and talk a little faster than I am now, but anyways, so yeah, so the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your database, uh, aka the first database that we created in the last video, and then we're going to uh, right-click our table and go to the design view, so uh, let's click that, and here we go, field name, data type, okay, so, uh, and we don't want this to be auto number, so what we're going to do is we're going to click on it, and drop down and then go to text and uh, we're gonna name this um, I don't know name we'll name it that and then uh, now what you'll notice is uh, let's see uh, engine okay and so now it's basically what it just told us was uh, name is a um, is like a reserved word for Access. So when we use that as the field name of our uh, of our you know quarry or whatever, it's going to have a bit of trouble finding it because it's a reserved word. It doesn't tell us we can't do it, but uh, it tells us it might run into trouble. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this to customer. I actually completely forgot about reserved words, and uh, in programming you hear a lot about that. So uh, so anyways, we're going to name that customer name. And then it's going to be text, and yeah. So now what we want to do is we want to change the data type. We want to make sure like all these options are correct. So, so we do want it indexed because we do not want a customer to be input twice. Basically, what that means is if I try and put Joe Heckelmeyer in here, then I try and put Joe Heckelmeyer in here again, and another you know couple of minutes, days, weeks, months, years, decades, something like that, it won't let me because he's already in there. Uh, so required, no, we don't need to put a customer name in there, say they don't have one, but uh, as a matter of fact, everyone does, so we're going to go ahead and put yes. Uh, validation text, you don't want to mess with any of that. Validation rules, basically that's where you program it to say, um, like, if this is true, then this is true, or something like that, Then, uh, but we don't want to mess with that yet. I'll be teaching that in another video way in the future. Uh, smart tags, that's basically for when you're using quarries and stuff like that, so we'll be learning all about quarries uh, in another video. And uh, field size, so let's say we only want to be able to put in people's names that are less than 25 digits, because some names are just too long. So we, won't, we only want 25 digits in there. So we put that in there, and now basically what this means is uh, it will never let us put a name in the customer name field that's longer than 25 digits. It will just stop there. Uh, also, the format, we don't really want to mess with format, but um, for like number fields, we'll be talking about those in a minute, uh, you will need formats and stuff. Uh, then there's an input mask. An input mask is basically, it tells it like if I have six numbers and I type in three, I want it to automatically put a dash in there between this one and the next one. I don't know if there are any for for text. Uh, I don't, yeah, I guess there are. So like phone number, 206 is in parentheses, uh, so we'll go ahead and do that. And then uh, next and finish. And then uh, I'll show you how that works in a minute. Uh, the caption, the caption is basically like, uh, if I were to put CN here, when we go back to our main view, you'll just see CN as opposed to uh, customer name, and I'll leave that so you know. Uh, default value, we don't want to input one of those, but basically what a default value would do is it would automatically say the customer name is this, and that's, you know, like default, like they're all named Adam. You can't really put in a default name because uh, because it's indexed and we don't want duplicates, so it won't allow a default name to go in every box. It will only allow it one time. So we're not going to cause a problem by doing that. Uh, and I guess that's pretty much covering it. Uh, you'll notice, though, when we go back to the other view, as we go down this list, 
we're actually going across up top. So every like this will be on the far left, next one over, next one over, next one over, and this one will be on like the far right. So uh, let's say we want this one to be uh, city, and then we want this one to be state, and you'll notice that these are automatically putting in uh, text as the field. Uh, and then for this one, we'll put zip code because we want one with numbers in there. And say uh, uh, for this one, um, actually, you know what? I fucked up on this. I fucked up on this. So we don't want we don't want this as the input mask because that will stop me from putting in names. So we want to yes, and we want to get rid of this, uh, cancel and delete it. So there we go. And uh, so now we can put names in there. So the zip code, though, uh, right underneath that, I'll put phone number. And in phone number, this is where we want uh, to keep it at text because it's a phone number. It has dashes in it, so you want uh, dashes to be text. Uh, the maximum phone number is 10, I believe. Uh, 4, 3, and 3. So, yeah, 10. So we only want 10 spaces here. On the input mask, we'll go ahead and put in the phone number and click next, click next, and uh, click finish. And there we have it, so that'll do that. And then the, uh, the caption will be a uh, number symbol or pound symbol. And default value, there isn't one. Uh, it's not indexed, so we can have you know two people in the same household with the same name or same phone number. Uh, IME mode, this is basically for programming and whatnot, so we won't be talking about that yet. We'll talk about that way later in the future. Uh, compression, yeah, because we want it to be nice and small. And um, format, I don't think we want to mess with that, so there we go. And uh, yeah, so now let's go ahead and go back into our actual design view. And uh, the way we do that is we just double tap the double tap the table there on the left, and it generates this. So now, as you can see, we have our uh, CN, or customer name, city, state, zip code, number, and, uh, and then a new field. And we can change this to a new field just by double-clicking it, or we can go back into our design view, which I'll do for a second to show you this. Uh, the description basically is like, what is this? Uh, we can type in uh, name of customer, and then we'll know what this field means. But uh, the only thing is, it won't show up over here, so we don't have to worry about it getting in the way. Uh, but uh, that's what this is. So, um, yeah. And uh, for customer name, let's go ahead and put in uh, Joe Finkel, because I like the word Finkel. And then uh, for city, uh, let's actually go ahead and manage the city, or no, state. Uh, state. Let's go ahead and manage the state um, design here. We do want it to be text, but we want the maximum field size to be 2. And uh, yeah, so let's see that. And then we'll double click this to go back in here. And we want to say state uh, n y. And then if we try and type in anything else, it won't let us. And then in this state, we want, you know, g a. And then if we try and type in anything else, it won't let us. Um, for the city, we could put in anything. It doesn't really matter. Uh, let's see what the customer name field. Okay, and uh, oh, okay. Sorry about that. It's saying if I if I have a state, then I need a name. So let's name this guy Johnny, and then we can go out of here. Sorry, I kind of ignored the error. But the zip code, uh, we can put a uh, three one zero six four. Uh, or three, I guess I accidentally hit three. The phone number, now this is where it gets interesting. Okay, the phone number, we have that filter put on there so that as we put in numbers, uh, it does special things. So if we want this number to be 650354247, you know, uh, then it will automatically input that in the form of a phone number, and uh, it'll do that all the way down the line so we don't have to worry about it. So, um, anyways, those are pretty much some of the different data types. If you want even more different ones, let's see. We can go back in here and check out the design view. There's a bunch of different types that you, you could do. Memo. I haven't really used memo a lot. You don't really need to. You really use text and number, uh, maybe date and time. 
and if you're using date and time you really do want an input mask because date and time uh, usually comes in handy so yes and then see like it can tell you like what kind of date do you want what format do you want it in and we'll just cancel that and uh, go back to text and my first table yes to save and uh, these were deleted when that error message came up because I changed it to a date and time and NY of course is not a date or a time so it deleted it um, so anyways uh, yep I'll be inputting data into this for our next tutorial so feel free to use your new database to input data and then in the next tutorial uh, when we generate a form or whatever I'll be showing you how to how to do that with this hope you guys enjoy that and I'll see you next time